What's up guys, my name is Knight, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening an entire box of Modern Horizons 3, I'm pretty excited about it. Stay tuned on this channel because we're going to open a lot more sealed products coming up, and that's really exciting and awesome. So, uh, that being said, let's just jump right into it, and uh, good luck to us. Uh, some of the cards we're looking for, uh, the Unpronounceable Titan, and uh, Ugin's Labyrinth, those kind of cards. So, uh, yeah, let's let's jump right into it. Let's slide this. <laughs> Yeah, that looks good. Right there. All right. Uh, let's throw this on the ground. There we go. I'll pick that up later. Hey, art card. Haha. -ha. All right. So I have a bit of a miss here. This rare is meh. Uh, pretty cool for some other formats, but let's just get that even out of there. All right. Every once in a while here, we'll do a pack one, pick one. Just because this is a drafting channel, so it's a uh, good practice for us, right? On the floor. <laughs> well, that was sweet. <laughs> I don't even know. Yep, that's a good one. We uh, we did good. <laughs> All right, Invert Polarity. I love this card in Draft. I love it in uh, Commander. Pretty big fan of that card. Uh, obviously, if we're uh, opening that pack in a draft, we're taking the Ulamog because that card's unbeatable in Draft. Also, if you open that at FNM, congratulations. All right, got an Angel Token. All right. Genku, this card is pretty sweet in draft. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be, but uh, not, not bad. The problem with the deck, really, is that the blue-white deck tends to be either like super aggressive and doesn't want a 2-5 at 4 mana, or... That doesn't go there. Or... Uh, yeah, it's just not going fast enough. That's kind of the problem. Jet Medallion is sweet. But uh, not for draft. Hit that heralds. Cool, cool. Oof. This pack was spicy. All right. Come on, Ugin's Labyrinth to go with our Ulamog, because that makes sense. Art card. Oh, ho, ho. Gilded Drake is one of my favorite cards of all time, so... A foil kind of updated version that is kind of better in CEDH is pretty sweet. I don't know how much better, but uh, oof. That pack was pretty cool. Alright, let's do pack one, pick one here. Bang. Okay. Bear is cute, but not very good. Altasaur is sweet. I do like the Hunger Tide Rises. Signature Slam is sweet. There's a lot of green cards in this pack. Oh my goodness. And Warp Tusker. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of green cards. So for me here, I'm on one of these two uncommons. Hmm. Just making sure I'm on that. This card's okay, too. I can see taking that. Yeah, I'm probably on the Annoyed Altasaur or the Hunger Tide. Oops. These arts over here, this, this guy, they're so weird. It's really cool, though. Alright, foil... Uncommon here, the the big boy. Oh, flute! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. Well, this pack was sweet. So, uh, this card is like the most card played in modern right now. Pretty awesome. And the Phyrexian Tower is just an awesome mythic to open. So, those are sweet. Okay. 
Still nothing unpronounceable. That's cool. Ooh, Kozilek's command. Nice. That's a good one. Nothing else. I've had that in a couple of drafts, and it's always been pretty good for me. Also, I've uh, cascaded into it with the uh, the dinosaur there, and just drew a card, which was like it's it's sad at first. And then you're like, oh wait a minute, no, I get to draw a card. Uh, nothing. Man, I love this art. The card's okay, but man, the, the art. Whew. Two more, and then we'll do another pack one, pick one. Ooh. Light's kind of getting in the way there. There we go. Come on, we want a Tamiyo. Ooh, a couple of lands is nice. Bloodstained Mire, Shifting Wood. Not good. Very cool. Okay, Foil Swamp. That's sweet. Momentary Henge. Nothing. There are some uncommons that are worth some money, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Alright. Let's look at that pack one. Pick one. Here we go. Germ. Oh, worm, sorry. Primal Prayers, not that. Astrid's Invocation is meh, it's fine. I do like Fell the Profane a lot. I do like Royal Cartographer, Worm Coil is sweet. Basking Brood Scale is awesome, but I'm not gonna pack one, pick one it. Lurker is fine, and Meddler is fine. So definitely one of these three. Uh, I feel like I'm taking a black card here. I'm probably just gonna take the Fell the Profane. It's just a sweet magic card. Uh, has the highest uh, value, basically. So it's, it's a removal spell for pretty much anything or a land on the back. Alright, blitz through a bunch of these. Kind of opening these away from my mic because I have a feeling that's really loud. Foil Deep Analysis is cool. White Orchid Phantom. Meh. Ooh. Well, this pack was uh, sweet for draft. This card is an absolute bomb in draft. Absolute bomb. Slam it, play it, try and splash it. I mean, the, this format you can you can the mana is so good. This card is amazing. In the pre-release, I got to cast my opponent's Kozilek on turn four. It was incredible. I think every game I played that, I won. It wasn't close. Wow, another one of those in foil? <laughs> Alright. Okay, Guide of Souls. This card is bonkers in draft. It's not worth much, though, I think. It's also pretty good in uh, Commander. If you want the Soul Sisters kind of thing. Ooh! Holy crap, this pack keeps going! What? So we got two Mythics and Windswept Teeth and Astrid's Invocation. Nice, nice. This is the Commander, the, the Goyf Commander alternate in alternate art. Sweet. Foil Necrodominance. Sweet. Windswept Teeth. Sweet. Man, that light. There you go. Okay. Germ. Foil Mountain. Foil It That Heralds the End. We got a Flooded Strand. Always happy to pick up fetch lands. I just put that in the wrong pile. There we go. Alright. Foil Plains. <laughs> hey! Nice! Tamio, that's one of the big hits. This card is insane in everything that it like. It's just it's just crazy. Play, seeing legacy play, it's seeing uh, modern play. It's really good in commander. Just amazing. 
Uh, also really, really, really good in drag. Psychic Frog! And the Iron Eater. Cool. Not worth anything. I love Psychic Frog, though. Nice callback. Okay. Pearl Ear. Nice. Victimized. Null Elemental. Cool, cool. Oh, there's my boy. My boy of winning drafts. The Writhing Chrysalis. A card that they clearly did not test enough. Alright, here we go. Ooh, Full Art Arena of Glory! This card's so sweet. Big fan. I'm playing that in a lot of formats. It's good in draft, but man, is it good in Brawl, Commander. Okay, got a whale. These tokens are getting intense. Another Necro Dominance. Sweet. Alright, pack one, pick one, here we go. Ooh, I got a lot of packs to pick up. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> this pack is a journey. Alright, so I was like, oh, that's easy, we don't even have to look at the rest of the pack. And then the Ulamog, okay, cool. Oh, uh, that was, uh, alright, we'll do another pack, <laughs> pack one, pick one, because that... We're taking the Ulamog, obviously, it's not close. Pack one, pick one. Here we go. Uh, or we can just open a couple of mythics again. All right, obviously. Well, see, Ral isn't great, and Kali is terrible in draft. Ral's fine. So what else do we have here? I think if you want to win, you probably take the Vanguard here. But uh, I'd probably take Ral. The card's just really cool. It's probably wrong, though. I guess if I was at a Pro Tour, I'd take the uh, the red green card. Oh, this is my favorite card in the whole set. This shouldn't be, but it is. It's just so cool. I love that card. Eh, it doesn't go there though. Man, we haven't hit many of the uncommons that are uh, worth anything. We've hit a couple. Necro Bloom, sweet commander card, and Proud Pack Rhino. Nope, none of the uncommons. Sweet commander card. Detective Phoenix, card sweet. Don't think it's worth much, but we'll put it over there anyway. Oh, I have a feeling this token's worth money. <laughs> Just like, this, this mana dork is insane, so. Copy token, Wrath of the Skies, and Savine's Reclamation. Yeah, if we were, Wrath of the Skies is sweet for draft. Okay, a couple more here. Servo, Justice, Ashling was was worth a million dollars. Not so much anymore. Nothing else there. Six packs to go. We'll uh, pack one, pick one, the last three. Winter Moon, Emerald Medallion. Neither of those go over there. They go over here. Okay, we had a, a packed pack again. This is more like a commander pack, which is interesting. <laughs> so, uh, Warren, Soul Trader, this is one of the best sacrifice outlets they've ever printed. So if you need a sack outlet, this one's sweet. 
uh, Urza's Incubator. Um, the only thing I want to really point out with this card is it doesn't say creatures you control. Just throwing that out there. And then the commander. Oh, sorry. We found a vexing bobble. All right, we got the blue land this time. Go cool, cool. Nothing. All right, let's just grab these last three packs here. Get rid of this box. There we go. All right. Pack one, pick one. Here we go. Three times. Wow. Art card. Mountain. Sneaky snacker. Wheel of potential. That is a bummer of a rare for us to open. <laughs> Angel of Ruins is fine. Uh, Genitari Genitorium. I love the bolt. This is almost certainly what we're taking. Collector Resistance, Land, Land. Dryad is cool. I do like a Dryad. Yep. This pack is actually really weak. So our rare is just absolutely garbage. Let's just even get that out of the pack. I'd rather take the mountain. Okay. Uh, this isn't really close. We're taking a Reiterating Bolt. Uh, we're not passing. We're passing the Genitarium, but that'll probably come around. So, yeah. Not, not that hard of a pack, I think. My opinion. Okay, hey, this pack's a little bit more difficult. Nice. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, all the... Alright, let's look at the rest of the pack. But it looks like all three of our good cards... Oh my gosh, all of our good cards are in the same colors. I don't like pack one pick winning the Void Claw, but it is a good card in this pack. So we have to, you know, just keep track of it. But uh, we have a Psychic or Pyretic Rebirth, Consuming Corruption, so two bonkers removal spells. Arena of Glory, which is sweet, but Emperor of the Bones is... It just wins games, I think. So at the beginning of combat on your turn, exile up to one target creature from a graveyard. You can pay to adapt it, and whenever a counter is put on this thing, put a creature exiled with it onto the battlefield in your control. Just, just for... Uh, un until it dies, but still. It's sweet. Yeah, probably taking that. Arena of Glory is also sweet. Alright, last pack. I mean, we've already had a pretty good box, but let's... Come on, what do we want? What do we want here? I'll look at my price list here. What do we want? Uh, Tamiyo. Ugin's Labyrinth. That's what we want. We want Ugin's Labyrinth. Preferably in foil. Or the fancy one. Ready? Here we go. No. Okay, well, Thief of Existence is cute. Oh, and just a, a hiding Ulalek. Cool. Um, all right, let's pack one, pick one of this. Never mind. Oh my god. Well, this pack is a bit of a bummer because we're gonna take this writhing chrysalis, and someone's gonna take this, and then some, or this, and then someone's gonna take this. I don't know. I guess maybe if I was in like a pro tour or something, I'd want to take this uh, galvanic. Discharge just because there's so many Eldrazi cards in this pack and we're passing it It's rough. That's a rough pack uh, It's a good pack. It's a really good pack, but it was a rough pack to pack one pick one. All right guys uh, Thanks a lot for tuning in. Please check out the channel like subscribe, you know do the the the, the thing it, It's basically painless. So I'd really appreciate it uh, Thanks a lot. Take it easy.